What is up guys, welcome back to the Wildcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a much lighter topic than we usually discuss. Um, I don't usually comment on things like this, but in this in this case, I am going to comment. Um, because when a bunch of Nordic women are being discriminated against for being women, basically, um, you better believe I'm gonna be commenting on it, okay? so. I have a background in sports and we're going to be talking about sports here. So if you guys haven't heard, the Norwegian women's beach handball team were fined for not wearing bikinis, which is supposed to be the standard dress code, according to some stupid international um, handball federation. That's literally what they're called. International Handball Federation regulations state that they have to wear um, bikini bottoms with a close fit and caught on upward angle towards the top of the leg and a maximum side width of four inches according to international uh, handball federation guidelines blah 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 so let's get some of the facts about what happened here first then i'll make my commentary about what's reasonable and not when it comes to these uniforms so dress codes are always a source of controversy at the olympics and the norwegian women's beach handball team now has to pay a seventeen hundred dollar fine for not wearing bikinis nbc's caroline Rad radnovsky sorry caroline joins us now to break this down for us. Uh, Caroline, thanks for being with us. And, and first off, help us understand what's happening here. Why is the Norwegian women's team refusing to wear bikinis? Well, it's been something that the Norwegian Handball Federation has been campaigning for since 2006, for women to have the choice of wearing shorts or bikinis. Um, I mean, as we can see, it's a very clear uh, disparity between the International Handball Federation says are appropriate clothes for men and women to wear when they compete outside of Norway. The men are allowed to wear long shorts. The women have to wear midriff bearing tops and they have to wear bikini bottoms. That have. If they wear shorts, they'll be fined or they were told they could even be, have been excluded from the tournament that they were recently playing in where this all went down, the uh, European uh, ha beach handball tournament. Uh, on Sunday. So these are the shorts the women want to be playing in. They're what they compete in in Norway and they're what they train in. They say that's what they're most comfortable in. Uh, one of the Norwegian players, Katinka Holtvik, said that she worries more when she's wearing the bikini bottoms about mm. them slipping than about the game itself. So the most telling part for me is what the journalist said there at the end, where one of the girls that she talked to, uh, Katinka Holtvik, she said that she spends more time thinking about her wardrobe than actually playing the game, which is what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So let's talk about uniforms and reasonable rules when it comes to this stuff. So generally, I think that uniforms are an okay idea. And that's because I used to be against uniforms because um, I thought that uniforms were a way of, uh, you know, forcing people to conform. And when I was a, when I had more of a libertarian, independent, individualistic outlook, I used to be against uniforms. But when it comes to sports, I think they're okay because sports are a way of humans letting out their tribalism and we can't really do that anymore but sports are very a good outlet for our aggression especially for men but even for women who have a competitive streak who want to compete who like sports and being active is always a good thing get your blood pumping uh, stay healthy etc so um i think in sports uniforms are okay you know you identify with the people next to you they're wearing the same thing as you they look like you you're part of the team you're going into battle to win the battle for your country in this case literally for norway uh they're facing uh, uh, they were facing on again, off against spain here so uh, i think it's good i think it's there's nothing wrong with uniforms in uh, in sports uh, when it comes to school, I'm kind of on the middle. I'm not sure if school uniforms for like middle schoolers are okay. I had to wear a uniform when I was in middle school. I really didn't like it. Okay. So, um, but anyways, forget about that. I think uniforms are okay. So let's get to what's reasonable and what's not. The women who are actually paying the, playing the game know what is comfortable and not comfortable for them. Okay. So if it's uncomfortable for this girl, the other girls from all the other countries who haven't complained yet, they're probably thinking the same thing. And the Nor Norwegian girls, they train in these shorts, but the Federation wanted them to dress in these skimpy um, bikinis that they were wearing before. So I think the Federation here is being a little fascist and thinking that they know what's best, even though some of these coaches haven't probably played in a long time. It's usually they turn into a bunch of fatties with beer bellies. A lot of coaches have beer bellies and they have no idea how to play the actual sport. The people who are playing on the ground, they know what's comfortable and what's not when it comes to uniforms. So I think you should defer to the people on the ground and get their at least get their input on what the uniforms should be. If the women are telling you they're uncomfortable, maybe you should listen to them. OK. So I'm totally on the side of the women. They didn't violate uh, the uniform code that much. They literally changed their pants a little bit because they were thinking more about exposing their butts on the fucking beach than playing the actual game. 
So if you care about the sport, then maybe you should listen to the athletes who actually play it and take their input in when you're making your decisions when it comes to these bikinis. So that's the serious side of this issue. Now let's get to my own personal opinion here. And maybe some people are not going to agree with this, but that's okay. Everybody has their own taste when it comes to what they think is beautiful. But in my opinion, Nordic women are the most beautiful women on this planet. They are the most beautiful creation of nature. That's my opinion. A lot of people agree with me on that. Um, but yeah, Nordic blonde women, especially if they have blue eyes, they're the most beautiful women on this planet. That's my opinion. You can agree or disagree. So given that fact, these clowns from this international organization should be bowing down at the feet of these Nordic Valkyries. Instead of fining them $1,700, they should be paying them $1,700 just for being able to gaze upon their Nordic beauty. <laughs> okay, that's what I think, in my personal opinion. But nevertheless, at the end of the day, um, it matters what the athletes are thinking. And the athletes told you what they're thinking. They don't want to wear the fucking bikinis. And you forcing them to wear bikinis is disgusting. All right. If the women wanted to wear bikinis, great. But they don't. They don't. It's uncomfortable. And they're it's taking their focus off the game, which is the whole point. It's sports. It's not a beauty contest. It's not, they're not modeling for you out there. If you want to see models or if you want to see women naked, you can watch porn. Okay, there's a place for you to do that. And uh, I suspect that they want them to wear bikinis because they want, you know, more television cameras to be turned on or more people to pay attention. So using sex appeal, I guess that's part of advertising at this point. But it doesn't matter. The, the, what comes first before anything is the sport. That's the whole point. Sportsmanship, right? And what the women want to wear, what they feel comfortable wearing, because the mental game is just as important as the physical game. It's related. What you're thinking mentally, your focus is much more important than anything, actually, because no matter how hard you trained or how good you are, if you're not focused during the game, if you're wo more worried about your fucking bikinis uh, falling off, then you're not going to be able to focus on the game. And that's the most important part. But that's what they want to wear, so they should be allowed to do so, all right? And that's the bottom line. All right, guys, that's all I got to say for this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos, and share the video with other people who you think might enjoy it. And if you want to support the show, you can do so on Patreon by going to the link at the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting the show to all my supporters, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.